Hello everyone, today we bring you the complete assembly tutorial for the JETSON Orin kit. From unboxing to power on, the steps are clear and easy to follow. Let's start right away. First, open the JETSON kit package and take out the internal accessory bag. Show all the parts in the accessory bag to everyone. We need to explain here. The NVIDIA Jetson Orin Nano Core Board Power Adapter and the 128G image card we use need to be purchased separately. These key components will be used in subsequent assembly. First, process the acrylic fixing plate. Peel off the adhesive backing on the acrylic plate and assemble the Jetson Orin acrylic fixing plate with three pins. Connect and fix the base plate to the PCBA main board with four hexagonal copper pillars. Prepare two flat cables to connect the DP interface and CAM interface respectively. Note that you need to distinguish between the thick and thin flat cables and do not mix them up. First, connect the DP flat cable. Insert one end into the corresponding interface of the PCBA main board and connect the other end to the JTSON DP board adapter board. Then connect the CAM flat cable. Insert one end into the CAM interface of the PCBA main board and connect the other end to the CAM interface of the core board. Insert the pre-flashed image card into the card slot of the core board, making sure to insert it firmly to avoid poor contact. Put the core board into the previously assembled acrylic fixing plate. Gently place it above the hexagonal copper pillars and align the position. Accurately insert the JETSON DP board adapter board into the corresponding interface of the core board. Take the 40-pin GPIO gray flat cable, connect one end to the GPIO interface of the PCBA main board, and connect the other end to the pins of the core board, paying attention to pin alignment. Take out the Jetson Orin fixed top plate and place it stably above the core board, ensuring that the screw holes on the top plate are accurately aligned with the hexagonal copper pillars below, Avoid deviation that may cause failure to fix or damage components. Then take out four M2O size screws, put them into the aligned screw holes one by one and slowly tighten them clockwise with a suitable screwdriver. Pay attention to moderate force, ensure firm fixation without excessive force squeezing the core board. Next, prepare for power on. Connect the power adapter to the power interface of the core board, then insert the USB connectors of the keyboard and mouse into the USB interfaces of the core board. Turn on the power switch and wait for the device to boot up. After waiting patiently for a moment, you will enter the Ubuntu system interface. During the boot process, the device's indicator light flash, which is a normal startup state. No operation is required. Just wait quietly for the system to load completely. After successful login, there is a Start AI Chat icon on the desktop. Click this icon to directly experience the AI Chat function. You can try asking two questions, what's your name, and say a story for me. If you want to exit the chat, just press and hold the touch sensor module. What's your name? Hi mom, nice to meet you. I just love talking about life and wellness, especially when it comes to yoga and spending time outdoors. How about you? What brings you here today? Don't worry, Tilda, I'm all ears. Say a story for me. Hey, I'd love to tell you a story. It's about a really cool day at the beach where I went with my friends. We spent the morning playing volleyball and having a bonfire in the evening. It was so much fun catching up and laughing together. The best part of the day for me was when we took a break and had some fresh coconut water. In addition, click the home directory on the desktop to find the Jetson course folder, which contains 13 camera courses and 25 sensor courses. There is a README file in this directory for reference. You can open it to view detailed learning content. The above is the complete assembly and initial use process of the JETSON Orin kit. During assembly, pay attention to distinguishing the flat cables and aligning the interfaces to avoid damaging the components. If you have any questions during operation, please leave a message in the comment area. See you next time.